Hello and welcome to Bitush Academy. Today I'll be talking about uh, Hogan's method. And this method is actually really interesting. So what it is about? It is about polynomial evaluation. So the idea is that you should be able to find the roots of some equation that looks like this. For example, 2x to the power of 4 minus 4 x to the power of 3 plus let's say 11 equals 0 and as you can imagine this is really really complicated so to say so you need some kind of algorithm in order to do it i mean complicated in terms of you will not be able to do it just in your head but if you follow the algorithm it becomes interesting so let's try to follow the algorithm and present it. Imagine that you have this equation x to the power of 3 minus 5x squared minus 16x plus 80 equals 0 and based on this equation we should receive something like this one equals something like x minus 5 multiplied by x to the power of 2 plus 7x plus 3 so this way we would have some multiplication in everything and this would be pretty much the polynomial evaluation that we and Mr. Hognars is trying to achieve so out of all these two things here a b all the other letters from the alphabet and g we are only interested in the first one and the last one namely a which is called senior coefficient in our case it's one because it's not visible it's missing so it's one and we have g which is the free coefficient which is obviously 80. so let's go to excel and see what do we do further as i said we have a senior coefficient and g free coefficient So, now we should list all the divisors of G and all the divisors of A. So, P would be divisors of G and Q will be divisors of A. So, the divisors of P, of G, and I'll simply write that A is 1 and G is 80. Okay, so the divisors of G, the divisors of 80 are plus minus 1. I'm just writing them and I'm just mentioning plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 5, plus minus 8, plus minus 10, plus minus 16, because 5 times 16 is 80, and then plus minus 20 plus minus 40 and plus minus 80 and the divisors of a which is one is actually only one yep as simple as this so now we need to list op over q fortunately in this way we only have one q so it will be all these numbers here as divisors Okay, so now the interesting part, let's draw a table. Okay, Excel is quite okay for drawing tables. And I'll stay in Excel, I wouldn't go to Word. So in this one, we, ne we write all the coefficients. So first we write 1 for x to the power of 3. And then we write 5 for 5x to the squared. Then we have uh, minus 16 and then we have 80 so this is how our table looks like mm -hmm. and now what we should do is to start doing some magic starting with a random number out of this and these are like plus and minus so to say plus minus like this plus minus one plus minus two and so on yeah plus minus four 
was minus 5. So what we should do is we should try with each one of these a specific magical thing that we would try and we would hope that we are going to get a zero here. So pretty much we'll start with one. So what do we do? First, we write this one down. That's how the whole coefficient works. And then we start one times one. This two is one times five. It's actually six, but in our case, it's not times five, it's minus five because of the minus here in the formula. So this is minus five. So 1 times 1 is 1, minus 5 is minus 4. And we continue. One, uh, 1 times minus 4, I can even write it here as a formula in Excel. 1 times minus 4 is minus 4 plus uh, this one. It's minus 20, great. So we do the same. 1 times minus 20 is minus 20 and minus 20 plus this one above is actually 60. So we simply say no and we continue pretty much because 1 is obviously not something that we would be interested in. Uh, and then we go with 2. And again, we have 1 here, so we write 1 down. We always write the first one here. And this is how we start. So we say again 2 times 1 plus the upper one. We can even come up with a formula easily. I'm just curious whether it would work. So it's minus 3 for the next one. It should be minus 22. And for the next one, does it work? It's actually 36. This is what we did. Does it work? Yep, it works. Uh, 36 is different than 0. So the answer here is no again. And now we'll start. We don't have 3. We'll start with 4. This one. So writing 4, uh, repeating the one here, writing it down, and here it would be 4 times 1 plus minus 5, it's minus 1, great, we scroll down a bit, and it is 4 times minus 1 plus minus 16 equaling minus 20, we scream down a bit. And this is where our party can start because we found one coefficient. It is 20, minus 20 times 4, pretty much, plus 80. And it's obviously a 0, so our answer is yes. Simply write yes here. And this is what we write down, so to say. We write x minus, and now we write the number. The number in our case is 4. And here we start writing exactly as they are. With 1, minus 1 and minus 20, this would be our coefficients. 1 times, it will not be x to the power of 3, it would be x to the power of 2 anymore. x to the power of 2, minus 1, x, and then minus 20 and this is pretty much how it looks uh, what can we do further well we can ask uh, we can ask python to do it for us and in python we import the fancy libraries symbols and factor from simpy and we say that our x will be Symbols x. Yeah, see, it's a bit fancy. It can be a symbol secret as well. 
but don't do this in any type of code because people can really not be happy about it and our polynomial would look like this x to the power of 3 minus 5x to the power of 2 minus 16 x power of 1 i'm just writing the powers so it's easier both for me and for python most for me plus 80 i mean this way i've seen that i'm having all the powers so if i write the polynomial let's see what are we going yep this beauty so factor polynomial equals uh, factor polynomial and now i'm just curious whether i can do this and i can do symbols and most probably this wouldn't be allowed yeah obviously factor polynomial i'm simply writing this it's obvious what has happened we have x minus 5 times x minus 4 times x plus 4 and in our case this thing here can be further split it into x minus 4 times yeah this is obviously x plus 4 times x minus 5 and so to say so far so good this is in really really tiny example how the honer schema looks like thank you for watching enjoy the rest of your day or night and let me know if you need more examples of the honer schema